Hi everyone, welcome back. So, we're gonna talk about the subculture palette today. Haven't even tried it. This is Anastasia's new palette. This is what the palette looks like. Now, I've heard so much controversy about this palette, more than any other palette, and let me tell you why I think that is. So, the subculture palette was supposed to be like the sister palette to the modern Renaissance palette. Now, this palette is very well received, well loved. Nobody I've ever heard has complained about the quality of Anastasia shadows. Before I get into using this palette, I haven't even unboxed it yet. I haven't even unboxed it, but I want to show you that I do know what other Anastasia palettes are look like. I have the Artist palette. I have the Amrezy palette. I have the Lavish palette. I have the World Traveler palette. I have the Master palette by Mario. And I have the Self Made palette. And the Modern Renaissance. So, I think that I have enough Anastasia palettes. Plus I have several single shadow palettes that I think that I'm going to be able to tell a difference if there is one in this new palette. Now I have watched several trusted reviews. I've heard from several trusted people in my life who have tried this palette and who say it is difficult to work with. There's a lot of fallout. The colors are beautiful, but what I think happened is that something went wrong with the formula of this palette versus other ones. But I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Well, most of you out there are probably even better at makeup than me, but I love makeup and that's what I consider myself a makeup lover. I feel like I have a ton to learn when it comes to doing my makeup. Sometimes I look back at my other videos and I'm like, what was I doing? But you know what? It's all, it's all a growing experience. The one thing I have heard about this palette is that it's not for beginners. It's really difficult to work Once with. Once you get it to work, you can create some beautiful looks, but it's a little bit less finicky and not to be consistent with the other palettes that Anastasia, there's a bug right there, that Anastasia has come out with in the past. So I think that that's where everyone's struggling and why it's kind of blowing up is because a lot of people were super, like this was a very hyped up palette and I think a lot of people were really excited about it and people who know how to do makeup, they know what Anastasia's formula, formulas are like. They know that this just isn't measuring up. All that said, I haven't even opened the palette yet, but this is going to be an honest, raw first impressions of me doing my makeup, and I consider myself an average girl doing her makeup, and I'm gonna tell you my experience with it. We're gonna do it together. You're gonna see the fallout, so Let's just go ahead and get started. I'm sure you guys have seen several videos like this, but I did ask a lot of you if you were interested in seeing my my first impressions or my experience with the palette, and a lot of you guys said yes. So here is a just an everyday girl, and with, with palette history from Anastasia, let's just go ahead and get started into this. First things first, I want to say, there are several batches of these palettes that I've heard. Some are way worse than others. P3 is supposed to be a batch that is way worse. On the back of the palette, it gives you the batch number right here. And it's just, it's in black, so you probably won't be able to see it against this like slate-ish teal color. But mine is P7. The P7 batches are known to be not as bad. Some people have been swirling their brushes and hitting pan like right within the first use. Uh, apparently the P7 is the better of the batches. I don't know. This is just what I hear people. So I'm just telling you what I heard. I don't know if there's truth to that, but I got P7 and a lot of you guys have been asking me what batch I got. So just for the record, that's the one I got. Now this palette is $42. I think that's a good price for the, the 14 eyeshadows that come in the palette plus a brush. Uh, I've always thought that Anastasia palettes are on the more reasonable end. So anyways, let's just go ahead and get started into this palette. Now that I've kind of like given this long intro and a lot of you guys are like, how does it work on the eyes? Okay, really nice blue, beautiful velvety case similar to this one. I, I, I love, love this color. Like I just think this color is so perfect. I want a house with like siding this color. <laughs> super random anyways oh the palette it's so pretty it's so pretty I mean just a really really beautiful as you can palette. see it's a little bit more cool tone this is the super warm tone in the modern renaissance so this is the more cool tone all the shadows in here 
are brand new shades with the exception of fudge but I have seen that this fudge and the fudge that has come out in other palettes is not the same. This is the World Traveler and this is the shade Fudge. And this is the shade Fudge. I can't tell, hang on one second, let me look. Yep, two different shades. The one, this is the one I just swatched, yeah. Okay, so this is the one from the new palette. It is warmer and the original Fudge is darker. I mean, they're two totally different colors. So essentially, this is all new palette. Even though they have the same, fudge has the same name, it is not the same fudge, and apparently it's not the same formula either. So there's that right off the bat. So right off the bat, they're calling a shadow, not a repeat. They're saying it is one of their permanent shades, and you can already see the difference in the formula of the shades. I watched a review, and I'm going, okay, and like, I am just went to blend this out and you see where the pigment is set right here in the center it will not blend out it is just the edges will not blend out from where that original pigment is wow this is crazy literally crazy the different formula crazy the two totally different colors and I watched a video from someone called Raw Beauty Christy she did an amazing comparison of what the problem is with these formulas about how they just are so soft so pigmented that they kind of just set all the color but they do not blend around the edges that is the main problem that everyone's having so I did right off the bat just want to say that that the fudge color is not the same so um, essentially these are all new shades in this palette so I'm just gonna get started and create a look I have no idea what I'm gonna create but I do want to tell you I used a Primer, I used the Benefit uh, BB uh, Air Patrol primer on my eyes and I set it with a Sigma Ray of Light, just like a cream colored eyeshadow powder product to set my base. So, I don't know if I should use the brush that came with it. Like, I'm scared because I've heard there's just like a lot of kick up. So, I'm just going to... We're just gonna try and stick our brush in it. I mean, yeah. Th there's a little bit of fallout. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of fallout. But there's a lot of fallout with Anastasia shadows. So in general, that is, I mean, when you tap it off, you can see like the shadow is going flying everywhere. So I went in with the shade Roxy. There's a lot of kick up when I put the brush in. It does waste a lot of product. Uh, and it seems like it's a little more than I would say normal, normal eyeshadows typically get. But I'm just going to go straight in with Roxy. I mean, super duper pigmented. Wow. Okay. Wow. I'm trying to go with a light hand because, you know, I just hear that there's so much trouble, but there's a little bit more pigment right in this area right here and right here. But I mean, and that really did spread up to my brow bone very, very quickly. Holy crap. I just kind of dust that down with a clean brush because that spread really really quickly because these are super pigmented holy crap uh i see what everyone's saying they're super duper pigmented so kind of where you place the color first is like it stays right there they don't blend like a typical anastasia shadow is known to do i would say that anastasia shadows are some of the easiest to work with that Modern Renaissance palette blends like an absolute dream. It makes me feel like I'm an amazing makeup artist when I use it just because I can get such a good blend. And I'm someone who's like not an amazing blender. Like I I'm not even going to try and lie to you guys. I try and blend but I'm like, I probably don't take as much time on it as I really need to in life. So like to hear that these are difficult to blend out for me is slightly a nightmare because I have three kids. When I'm doing my makeup, well, I mean, for the most part, I don't like to take, like, too, too much time, like, forever doing my makeup. Like, I can't spend, like, an hour 
not really an hour, but you know what I mean. I can't spend like an enormous amount of time blending out my eyeshadow just to get a palette to work. Like if something doesn't work for me very well, I know myself and I don't use it. But I will say this first shade honestly is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So we'll see. I don't know. I hear as we go along into the, some of the darker shades, layering them is where it gets a little bit tricky. So we're just going to try and blend some of these out. And just like FYI, sometimes when I'm doing my eye makeup, I start talking with like a lisp. <laughs> like when I'm trying to talk and film, I like start talking with a lisp. It's like a super weird thing that I do. I'm going to try not to. But that's why I do voiceovers because I'm not even kidding you that all of a sudden doing my makeup when I'm trying to blend like makes me have a lisp. I feel like that blended out for me decently well. Hey, maybe the trick peeps is to use the brush that came in the palette. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just a regular girl. Take a clean brush because I have a natural inclination to blend too high in general. So I'm just like a wild woman. I'm just literally a wild woman. I'm kind of rough on my makeup products. So this to me isn't that big of a, of a deal, but it does waste a lot of product. There is a lot of kickback. You know, I can clean the brush up with, with a lot of the fallout. But quite frankly, it's, I mean, yeah, that's kind of a lot. I mean, it's a lot. It's, it's not minimum. It's a lot of fallout, but... I feel like I got an okay blend with this first shade. I'm going to kind of dust this brush off and go into this shade called New Wave, which is like this yellowish shade, like a mustardy color. And I'm going to try and put that, tap it off. I'm going to put that one directly in my crease, just a little bit lower than the first shade. So, I mean, let me, let me tell you how I really feel here. I'm not having trouble with this shade either. I believe the people who are, like, like, let me make this clear. I believe the people who are having trouble with these eyeshadows. I've personally watched people struggle with them and I I know they're not like I know there's a lot of speculation that people are doing these videos for views but I am personally seeing people struggle with this palette so I, I don't think now there's a significant amount of kickback on this I don't know if you can see but there's a lot of pickup um, you get a lot of product on the brush and when you tap it a ton pops off um, but so far I'm feeling like I'm getting a pretty decent blend. I don't know, maybe when I watch this back, I'm gonna be like, psych. But, so far for me, I feel like it's okay. Okay, next shade I'm going to go into is this shade right here. This is called All Star. Honestly, just a lot picks up and I mean, yeah, there is a decent amount of fallout still on that shade. I mean, I just think that's consistent. Honestly, to be truthful, I feel like the amount of fallout is a little bit more on this palette, but a lot of Anastasia's shadows are very, they're soft pressed shadows. So they do all have strong pigment. And kind of a decent amount of fallout, but this is a little bit more than normal, I would say. Um, but I'm just going to try and softly blend in this color. I've heard this is where people find trouble, and yeah, I can see this. This one's, oh, rot row. This one's a little, this is really playing me right here. This uh, color right here is patchy. The all-star shade. Well, crap. We were chugging along. 
Uh oh, I feel like I messed up. Okay, I can see this one's a little bit patchy. bit more difficult to work with. It's like right where you put it on, the amount of blending, I mean it's very patchy, the amount of blending that you have to do to kind of get it to work is, makes your eye raw a little bit. There's like this one spot I cannot get right here. I can't get that. I can't get this one spot right here to blend. Go in with a little bit of this rowdy shade right here. And I'm just going to get tapping the brush in gives, you know, some fallout again. I just feel like I should show you guys so that you know how much fallout I am getting. Shoot, I literally just messed up the whole look, I think. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna put this on and then I'm gonna take a, oh crap. I'm gonna take a clean, oh shoot, shoot. Ugh. I'm try and take this clean brush. I don't know why I feel like if I blend really quick, like maybe I can fix it. Like literally, let me just tell you, I never blend this much to get your to get my eyeshadows to work. Hmm, okay. I definitely see what people are talking about. I definitely see it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Adorn shade right here. I'm gonna get my, which is like this bronze shade. I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush and I'm gonna apply that to the lid. Okay, that one went on pretty well. I'm gonna go into this um, electric shade, which is like almost like this duochrome green. These two shades are really, really soft. They're the metallic shades. They're really, really soft. Um, and you almost have to like poke them to like lift the product. I mean, and hardly any kind of comes off on the brush. But I'm just gonna kind of put that right in the inner and meet it up with that bronze shade. Oh, that's a really cool color. Really, really like that color. That's a really cool color. Okay, I'm gonna apply liner, curl my lashes, I'm gonna finish my face, and we're gonna come back and do the bottom lash line. All right, I'm back, and we are gonna start on the lower lash line. First, I'm gonna put this aqua shade, well, it's called Teal, from Jane Cosmetics. Any type of like, um, teal liner you have will be good. I just really like this one. And I think it will play well with these like teal shades in the palette that I kind of want to do on the lower lash line for a pop. You see, I just almost started to get that lisp. I can't help it. Now, I want to go in with, I'm going to start out with this shade Destiny right here. And I'm going to put that all along the lower lash line just to kind of softly blend that out first huh 
that one creates like just tapping it created like a huge dent picked up a ton a ton of product that's really weird all right So far on the lower lash line, I feel like that blended out really, really nicely. I'm going to go into the shade Axis, which is like this deep teal shade. And I'm just going to kind of go in on this outer portion right here. Smoked it out on that outer portion. I thought it blended pretty well on the lower lash line, so I didn't have any problems. I'm going to hit my bottom lashes with mascara, and then we'll finish up talking about the palette. One more thing. I did want to go in with this shade Cube in my inner corner. It's like this... Ooh, when you swatch it, it's almost like so buttery. It's almost like a duochrome, chrome, like light peachy. It shifts like white peachy pink. That's a really pretty color. I'm going to get the brush... Actually, I'm going to dip that in first and get it my brush coated, and then I'm going to spray the brush. I'm going to put that right here in the inner corner. Okay, here is my finished look. Okay, here are my final thoughts on the palette. I'm not going to swatch all the colors in this palette. It was really about trying it. Ugh, I guess I will. You know what? I mean, screw it. I'm just going to finger swatch them right here, right now. Those are some. I mean, the thing is, is that these can swatch absolutely pigmented and beautifully, but it's how they perform on the eyes. And I think that, you know, from now on, I need to try and do, always do sort of like get ready with me combined with swatches, which I have been trying to do because it really is all, I mean, look at both swatch, absolutely gorgeous. And if I were just sitting here swatching these, I would be like, oh yes, absolutely most amazing pigmented things I've ever tried in my life. So, you know, but we know that this palette is having some blending issues. I would say I had issues with the darker shades the most. Let me go ahead and swatch some of these shades up here. I mean, so incredibly pigmented. Like, so incredibly pigmented. Um, I mean, these all go for like days and days and days. So, I mean, they swatch absolutely beautifully right here. So... What I will say is, is that if you are a beginner, like I heard, this is a, this takes a lot of time to blend out. It takes a lot of time. I personally like the way that it looks, but if you have extra time to blend it out, I think the colors in this palette are absolutely gorgeous. They're unique. Uh, the only palette that I've seen very similar to this color range, but not quite as many colors in the palette, is the Jeffree Star. Uh, I think it's the Androgyny palette. Uh, some of the colors, like this one, this one, um, this shade, are very, very similar. And I think there's a shade like this in that palette. So the color scheme is absolutely beautiful. I love the way all these colors kind of go and play together. I think that it's a unique palette. Uh, hopefully, maybe there's like some type of statement made because the shadows do perform differently than some of my other Anastasia palettes because my Anastasia palettes are like especially the modern renaissance which this is supposed this is like the brother to the modern renaissance but that palette performs so beautifully it just the shadows just blend for themselves I don't have much trouble it's something I can count on that I know I can do it like quick and easy it makes me feel like I'm good at blending this takes a lot of extra additional time. More so, I didn't have trouble really with New Wave or Roxy uh, or Edge, but did I use Edge? No, just New Wave and Roxy. I didn't have trouble with those. But when I added All Star, 
um, and rowdy those were a little bit harder to blend the darker color they just weren't layering very well they weren't playing together well which Anastasia's shadows typically do so that's just I don't know what you want to take from it $42 am I going to keep the palette yes I'm going to do play around with it do a few more looks with it see what I can come up with when I have extra time to kind of play around with a palette is this going to be a palette that I trust that I'm like oh I know I can get something that looks extra good no, it's not going to be something that I trust. Some of my other Anastasia palettes, I absolutely would trust them. I would bring them on a trip. No, I could get a good look from them. This is something that I know I'm going to have to spend a lot of extra time. So as far as packaging goes, A+. plus. As far as color selection goes, A+. plus. As far as pigmentation goes, A+. plus. As far as blending goes, I would say C. So, and, and some of the shades are like D. But... That's my honest review, honest look, you know, you could see me struggle, you could see what happened with my eyeshadows, so hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this among all the other videos out there on the Anastasia palette. If you are a new subscriber to my channel or a new viewer of my channel, please subscribe down below before you leave. Don't forget to check the notification bell so you get future videos sent to your subscription feed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.